Hi everyone, I'm here to share with you a text that I sent with my packet number five. The title is Amelia Earhart Across the Atlantic. Look towards the bottom of my screen for the author and illustrator information. Written by Elizabeth Amber Love. Illustrated by Michael Pennick. And you'll also see that this is a graphic book, so it's kind of like a comic book style. As you know, we've been learning about famous Americans, and Amelia Earhart is certainly a famous American. This text is about her first flight across the Atlantic by herself. This is the title page where we see the title and the author and the illustrator information again. And up at the top, there is some text. It says, Amelia, you shouldn't be trying to keep up with the boys. That's what grandma always said to me. Sorry, grandma, but I have to disagree. And Pidge, my little sister, thanks for always believing in me. Next page, page two. May 20th, 1932. Harbor Grace, Newfoundland. Five years to the day after Charles Lindbergh, after Charles Lindbergh's first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Amelia, don't worry, George. Even if I fail, I'll have succeeded in trying. Now let me take these photos for the press. Hold that right there so I can see the date. There you go. Thank you. Click. Page three. Good luck, Mealy. I appreciate that, George, but it's my brains, not luck, that will get me through this. As your husband and publisher, I'm warning you about how many lectures you'll give and the books you'll write when you get back. Piece of cake, JP. All set, let's fly. Feeling free gets better every time I take off. Page four, I'm sorry if I ever disappointed you, Grandma, but I'm going to break another record now, whether a proper lady should or not. I'll prove I'm as good as Lucky Lindy. Fourteen people have died trying to make this flight, but I won't be number 15. Oh no, the altimeter is broken. Page five, looks like there's some wind and rain ahead. I'm sure this Vega can handle a good storm. Let's see if we can get over it. Come on, girl, you can do it. We have to climb out of this. There's too much ice on the wings. Let's try going down. Come on, pull up, pull up. That water's too close for comfort. Page six, there, that's better. Everything else seems to be working. My horizon, isn't, my horizon is good. I'll be out of this storm soon. Don't worry, Pidge, this is a fine plane. Only a few hours to go until I'm in Paris. I need to settle my stomach after that bumpy ride. What's this now? That can't be right. I'm losing all my fuel. I'll never make it to Paris now. I'd better find land soon. I guess this little red bus just wasn't built to cross the Atlantic. I wonder where I am. Everything is so green. Page eight. Now what do we have here? Have you flown far? From America, welcome to Mr. Gallagher's pasture. You've made it to Ireland. First woman pilot across Atlantic. Amelia Earhart's solo flight across the Atlantic cemented her already established place in aviation history. In 1937, Earhart and her co-pilot, Fred Noonan, mysteriously disappeared over the Pacific Ocean while trying to fly around the world. Because of her strength, determination, and spirit, 
Earhart remains an inspiration to people everywhere.